Okay, guys, it is time for another episode of Not Quite News, where we take a look at the stories that probably lurk a little below the headlines. Now, first off, Metallica, they got a furry four-legged visitor during one of their L.A. shows at SoFi Stadium. A dog named Snorm snuck out of her home nearby and somehow got into the stadium all by herself. Now, there's a photo of Storm sitting in a row just watching the show. Now, there was some concern that someone had brought their dog with them to the show, but the band says that wasn't the case. In an Instagram post, they joked she had a great time listening to her favorite songs, including Mark's Eterna, Master of Puppies, and The Mailman That Never Comes. And in case you are wondering, no, you definitely shouldn't bring your furry friends, but this dog sure did have her day. Now, Storm was safely reunited with her family the next day. Now, for a while, it seemed like there was a new shortage of something every week. Now, there hasn't been much of that recently until this. There's apparently a run on laxatives. Sorry, couldn't resist. Now, the Wall Street Journal says that there's a shortage of laxatives, but this time, it's not a supply chain issue. It's an overuse situation. The report says that Americans have developed a laxative habit and we're suffering from excessive constipation because we aren't eating enough fiber. Now, people may also be taking laxatives to deal with bowel dysfunction caused by anxiety and distress. Now, others may be taking laxatives as a weight loss hack to feel skinnier or because of misinformation on TikTok about what healthy bathroom behavior should be. Now, regardless of why people are taxing laxatives, the demands have increased, and people are noticing some stores have been selling out, especially the name brands. Be careful, though. Overusing laxatives can lead to chronic dehydration and loss of electrolytes, and you can become dependent on them, where you can't have bowel movements without taking them. Now, police in the UK responded to an observatory on Wednesday evening when someone reported seeing a bunch of dead bodies. The witness apparently thought there had been a mass murder or cult ritual killings, but when the police got there, it was just a yoga class. Now, the class was performing the corpse pose, also known as Shavasana, where a person lays on their back with their arms and legs spread out. You can imagine how that may have looked. Now, obviously, it didn't take long for the police to figure out that there was a misunderstanding and the sirens and police activity probably disturbed the students' zen vibes. The yoga instructor said, My heart goes out to the people who thought I was murderer, but I can assure you I just hold space for deep relaxation. The police say the caller had good intentions. And finally, you may have heard about kids who accidentally order something by picking up their parents' phone and button mashing. But this is more extreme than that. A father shared a video on TikTok showing how his five-year-old son ordered almost $1,000 worth of stuff on Amazon by just asking Alexa to have the stuff added to his cart. Now, most of it was toys, but he also added for a hot tub and a $500 one got ordered. Now, it could have been a lot worse because he was asking for multiple things like 112 water slides and potentially expensive stuff like a rocket ship that goes 5 trillion miles per hour in 5 trillion feet off the ground. Now, the dad shared this tip. Parents, make sure you disable voice purchases on your Alexa app so this doesn't happen to you. Now, it sounds like the father did get a refund because he said he regrets not keeping the hot tub every day. And that's going to wrap up a look at Not Quite News, where we take a look at the stories that lurk below the headlines. Please share, subscribe, and comment. And of course, like I said, share with your friends. We'll be back with more Not Quite News real soon.